This week's top news in Ukraine is the decision of Constitutional Court, which came to conclusion that President Poroshenko had no constitutional right to appoint director of the Independent Anti-Corruption Bureau. The creation of this institution was a huge demand at the beginning of the uh, term of President Poroshenko's uh, presidency. So in 2014, the law was approved in Parliament. And then in 2015, when it came to the final stage, that was Poroshenko's ambition. Because the law said that the director of independent anti-corruption agency should be uh, uh, approved, appointed by the parliament of Ukraine and, uh, and proposed by the president. But Poroshenko wanted to be the man who is uh, leading anti-corruption fight in Ukraine. Therefore, he uh, influenced his members of parliament. He has some majority in parliament and they changed the law allowing president to appoint director of anti-corruption bureau. So what happened? When there was a formal complaint from today's members of parliament that this decision of Poroshenko violates Ukrainian constitution, constitutional court frankly has no space for maneuvering because constitution clearly defines what president can do and among those functions of president, there is not a single word about president's right to appoint director of independent constitutional anti-corruption court or any other heads of independent regulators. The conclusion we are coming to, if in future we would like to have law in order in our country, if we would like to avoid situation where in future somebody would again appeal to constitutional court uh, challenging the right of president to appoint independent regulators, different commission, including cultural fund of Ukraine, which is happening at present. We analyzed in the center more than 50 or 60 laws where, which are in contradiction to constitution, where president is uh, stepping above his constitutional rights. So if you would like to build legal effective institutions, we must by no means allow our president to overstep his rights, his possibilities as defined in constitution. Only then we'll be having stable institutions, avoiding turbulences which we are facing today.